It's a house with a clock in its walls. <laughs> no, it's not, man. It's Hold the Dark on Netflix. And it is a little bit spooky. And way more spooky. <laughs> I, was holding, I was holding the dark for a second. Oh, I'm the dark in the situation, right? <laughs> Racism! <laughs> Racism! <laughs> this time on Miss Cast Entertainment Movie uh, Reviews. I gotta call, I'm calling out. I'm, I'm calling Jeff, Jesse Jackson. Hold on. Here's Johnny. I love the smell of my cup in the morning. Welcome back, you crazy Netflix people, you, you miscast miscreants, and welcome to this episode of Miscast Movie Reviews with your wonderful host, JJ. I came back. And this guy. I'm a black. Damn. <laughs> this is DJ Valentine. Goddamn right. JJ, DJ. William. Yes. <laughs> <That's me. laughs> Plain old William. Boom. Boom. Yeah, bam. I'm William Davis Moore, and Ooh. we're reviewing... Not a house with a clock in its walls. Thank God. Thank <laughs> God. <laughs> that was a pooper. That's this a is a spoiler review, guys. Mm. So hopefully you've seen the movie. And if you haven't, I don't know what you're doing here. But hey, join us for some spoilers. Your grave. <laughs> Your grave. <laughs> Your grave. <laughs> hey, I just want to say, wolves never kill a goddamn person in this movie. So yeah, well, that is technically a s- they do. Mm. Technically, they do. if it's to be believed that little girl was taken by a wolf, but at this point, I don't think so. But we never saw it. There's no like visible. Wolf. I was more leaning into the symbolism of Skarsgård being a wolf. I don't know why I talk like that when I said that. It sounded really creepy. But so let's get into it. I have lots of, <laughs> I have lots of questions. Mm. I really, really like this movie. I liked it because um, after seeing the nun, it shows you what a horror movie shouldn't be, and this shows you what a horror movie. Should be right, right. Dread. because it, it gives you real tension. Tension, definitely. Real, it uses utilizes music and um, cinematography to really drive emotion correctly. I'm not talking about animals here, Mr. Core. Well, if you say so. Yeah. Um, it it uses silence to to build a thrilling experience. So the wolves were obviously a uh, you know some kind of symbolism for something but mm-hmm. do we ever really figure that out because i don't i don't know what there, there was a on. lot of like indian old time religion going on here right. where you had that that old uh, indian lady yeah. who who knew a lot of stuff but Turn wasn't back. able to do anything because yeah. i'm just a little old lady <laughs> what do you want me to do <laughs> but what was her point on the downsides mm. what were the thematic elements that were making the story up or was there a story or were we just no, following I, some i think there was there was family there was a whole like um, th- there was like a love for family because right. even though when we finally discover that uh, the mom killed the kid, right. you also get the sense that she killed the kid because uh, the husband went off to war and she said he would never leave me. He promised he was never going to leave me. Right. And then when he does come back and he finds out what she did, he ends up almost kind of like forgiving her you know like he he does want to choke the shit out of her right but he ends up sort of sparing her and jeffrey wright kind of talked about that earlier with uh jim badgedale when he was right. like i saw these wolves and they killed their own young now i want savaging sav- yeah. yeah and i don't know if uh, big spoiler alert guys so don't uh uh i did research on the book did you know spoiler alert again that they are brother and sister Oh yeah, that's the whole. Cru- that's the thing they took. They hint at it in the movie, but they right. took it out of the movie specifically. She in says, the, I've, "I've I don't remember I don't a have memory. a memory when he's not around." Right. And then uh, when he's talking to the the native the Indian hunter, uh, Skarsgård goes to the mining colony, and that's what those comments, and he goes you, and you, he's like, "You're Scandinavian. You got so does she." You know, right. that's the closest they ever get because in the book that is based on, it's over. It, they just say it that they're brother and okay. sister. Okay. And I go, they should have not. I, I think they should have at least give you more hints to that because it makes more sense why she does what she does. And I don't think she does what she does because she's ashamed of it. Because some people, uh, I was reading a whole bunch of stuff after this movie, and some people were like, she she killed her kid because she didn't want her kid to be like her. But that kind of implies regret. And I don't think she regrets the way she is. She tells Jeffrey Wright straight out, I'm the wolf and you know, blah, blah, blah. She kind of calls him in to, to tell my story. I was confused completely on why he wasn't more upset with the child death because in the morgue he was yeah he, he was, was he upset. was she was not it, because even at the beginning of the first shot of the movie when we see her 
she kind of stands out the, the door and she doesn't seem like she never seems regretful of anything she did so when the, everybody says oh she did it because she didn't want the child to become her that implies that she actually cared about that kid i don't think she ever did i think all she yeah. cares about is that guy you we never can, see her we can stay in this cave forever which is a scene later at the hot spring we can stay right. here and don't worry about anything else but he i think might have been the least savage of both of them that which is crazy because he's killing mad so people. So w- why would she bring uh, Wright's character into this? She, he's he says that she wanted to tell, uh, essentially have somebody who apparently been uh, his book's called uh, uh, My Year Among Them, which essentially is him living with wolves. Right. So I, th- I guess she wanted somebody who understands because I think they think they're wolves or they're living in this hold the darkness. They're, they have darkness inside of them. Maybe Jeffrey Wright will understand us and be able to tell our story of how we actually are this way. We are not how society sees this kind of thing. I guess. Again, I have to piecemeal this out of information I picked and choose because the movie doesn't give you a yeah. lot of that stuff. I don't know. It doesn't I, tell I, you yeah, anything. No. No. I, I think these guys, they live where they live because they want to go, they want to get away from society. Right. Because even yes. at the end of the movie, uh, they're just walking off into nothingness. This movie um, didn't give a lot of answers, mm. which is I'm fine with because I kind of felt like halfway through it, I'm like, they're not going to tell you anything. No. And I expected people to be killed off like pretty quickly. <laughs> and I was and actually brutally enjoying too. it. Brutally, yeah. Dude, the arrow went through that guy's freaking neck and mm-hmm. out his back sideways. I'm like, dude, that probably has ripped through like 18 organs. Dude, you, the way, you, the you way have not seen yeah. Blue Ruin or Green Ruin, yeah. but trust me, this guy is... Uh, no, the, I, the, the way that he kills me. people is awesome. It's, it's, always it's so cold yeah. And, yeah. and deliberate, he but shows definitely the, skilled. He like, always, in all the three of those movies, especially Green Room, yes. he shows how violence is not to be glamorized. No. He, he shows like, this is what... The sound effects. Like the scene, the end 60 scene is very well done but it's frightening you usually see that like rambo does it it's like oh this is awesome right that scene is scary yeah, like i'm like, fright like i don't know what the people you, you feel people's pains pain, yeah yeah you feel there, there there's a yeah. realness there's no mercy to, yeah. in that their scene fear yeah. before they're dead yeah. this movie really reminded me of under the skin Oh, with Scarlett movie. Johansson, really? Okay, very similar then, elements. Uh, the music led the the story. The cinematography was pretty much a character, and uh, the, it was really a, a pantomime type character piece, mm-hmm. which I I really like those movies. I understand it's a good movie. That's a good yeah. movie. Come to me. <laughs> it's a really good movie that no one has really seen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But this movie is definitely a lot like it. But uh, that's going to be the end of our review. I, I, I don't want to go to Alaska ever. I've seen, Wind, I've seen Wind River, bad things happen. I've seen this movie, bad things happen. I've seen Mystery Alaska, bad things happen. I'm going to Alaska. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up our, uh, our spoiler review. And uh, like I said before, in every other episode, if you're paying attention, please head on over to our channel and check out some of our old content. If you like our content, Hit that subscribe button. It really hooks us up. And hit the bell next to it so you're notified when we upload new content. Check us out on miscastentertainment.com where we put up a bunch of articles all the time, all week long. And there's also a bunch of cool stuff on there like our merch. Some pimp ass merch. All right, guys. See you in the next one. Peace. It's inebriated. The dragon is flying drunk. Oh, open wider. Wider. This is what Bill Cobb says. Open wider, a little more, oh, oh, okay. Wait, let me get some pills. (laughs) 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 Donkey's gonna be pissed. (laughs)